you should not learn everything about Roblox development. This is one of the main lies that a lot of Roblox developers, especially new ones, believe. And I'm going to explain to you why trying to learn everything will hold you back as a developer and prevent you from getting the results you want, from getting players and from earning Robux and from making successful games and from taking commissions. Let's say this is all the knowledge in the world about Roblox game development, okay? Don't you wish you could just download all of this into your brain right now? Don't you wish? That would be great, right? You would be able to make any game that you want. You'd be able to do it all by yourself. You wouldn't need anyone's help, right? But here's the problem. It's impossible for us to learn everything. No one knows everything, right? We know this isn't actually possible, but if you try your best to learn everything about every single skill, you will spend all your time doing it. And this will cause you to not get any games out, learn a bunch of stuff that you don't need to make what you want to make, and it'll prevent you from specializing in and getting very good at one skill. So a lot of devs, even though this is delusional, they're trying to do this. They're trying to learn everything about development, building, modeling, UI design, scripting, GFX, animation, marketing, all at once. But this is a waste. This is a waste. So instead, what should you do? The solution. First of all, you're going to want to define your goals. Ask yourself, what do I want to do? What do I want to achieve on Roblox? Once we get clarity on what we want, we can then find out what we need to know to get there. So, want to take commissions? Want to make a game? Do you want to make dev content like me, teaching other developers what you know? Do you want to be a scripter? Do you want to be a modeler? This is answering the what do I want to do part of the equation. What do I want to achieve? That includes Robux. How much? Do you want to earn 20,000? 100,000? 1 million? 1 billion? Or do I want to get recognition? Get 1 million visits for my first time? Get to 2,000 CCU? It's going to take different knowledge to reach different goals in Roblox development. And I can't tell you what your goals are. Only you can decide that for yourself. But once you sit down with a piece of paper and you write this out, you're going to be in a much better position to learn what you need to know. So you don't waste your time learning a bunch of stuff you don't need and preventing yourself from taking the actions that would get you results. Second, after we figure out our goals, we want to use the 80-20 rule, Pareto principle, for learning. So the 80-20 rule is this idea that 20% of our action lead to 80% of our results. The same goes for learning. 20% of what we know leads to 80% of our results. With this in mind and knowing our goals, we can stop trying to learn everything and start learning only the 20% of information we need to reach the results we want. This is our high leverage knowledge. So in scripting, what is this 20%? Well, the 20% of all the knowledge out there about scripting that leads to 80% of your results are the basics. The basics lay the foundation for everything else. If you understand basic concepts like variables, functions, how to write code, put it together, the syntax of Roblox Lua U, you can then use outside resources like the Roblox documentation and YouTube tutorials, courses like mine, scripting secrets, ChatGPT, to fill in the gaps of your knowledge at any given time whenever you're writing scripts and need to know something. So if you're writing a data source system, say you haven't done that before, you can go to ChatGPT or you can go to YouTube and ask how to do that. You can go and figure it out from outside sources, right? Now, because you know the basics of scripting, you're gonna understand in general what those tutorials are saying, what ChatGPT is saying, 
and you're going to be able to grasp new concepts and scripting as you need them. The basics are the foundation and everything else is built upon that. Your intermediate and your advanced scripting skills are all built on top of that foundation. That's why the basics are the 20% that bring you 80% of your results. So this is one of the most freeing things you can learn about Roblox game development or really anything because now we know that we don't have to know everything. We can learn 20% of all the information out there and for scripting, for example, that's the basics, the core concepts. Learn the beginner topics and you can go and figure out how to make any script effectively from there. You can learn all the other concepts. You can learn tween service. You can learn object-oriented programming. You can learn C-frame. You can learn different things using the foundation of the basics as a tool to understand any other topic of scripting. Because those basics really do drill into your brain how programming works, and that makes it a lot easier to understand and intake new concepts. But now that we know that we don't have to learn everything, we can use the 80-20 rule to think about, okay, what are the results I want? What games do I want to make? Do I want to take commissions? Do I want to make entire games, right? And then we can filter through the lens of our goals all the information out there and decide what we need to learn versus what we don't. And what we need to learn, that's the 20%. 80% of that information out there is unnecessary. You don't need to know all the advanced stuff in scripting. I don't know every single thing about scripting. I don't know every single thing about development. And yet I'm still able to make games. I'm still able to teach people on YouTube and I'm still able to get the results that I get. No developer knows everything. Get that idea out of your head. Perfectionism is a trap. And oftentimes we as devs, we as scripters, we as builders, we as modelers, we as UI designers, we fall into the trap of thinking we need to be a perfect developer. We need to be somebody who knows every last detail of our topic or of development as a whole. But we have to remember this is an impossible target. You can never know everything. So instead, learn the fundamentals of your skill. And then as you come into problems, as you make games, as you take commissions, as you do whatever you do on Roblox, then use the internet, use your resources to look up the answers, look up these solutions and learn more and continually figure things out as you go, right? Development is a constant process of learning. You never stop. So when you're thinking about your game, right? It's very important that you don't go and you learn a bunch of scripting information that you don't need, right? For a shooter, you need to know a lot about ray casting and boxes and anti-cheat often, all of this complex stuff, right? That you don't need in order to make, say, a role play game like Brookhaven or something more simple than that. Role play games don't require all the systems that shooters need. But oftentimes, scripters will go and think, oh, I, even though I'm making a role play game, I still need to know all the stuff needed to make a shooter. No, you don't, bro. All you need to know how to do is that which allows you to make the games you want to make. You don't have to know how to make all the stuff required to make FPS systems if you aren't making those. If you are making role play games now, if you're making a Brookhaven type game, if you're making something like Livetopia, if you're making something like that, you learn what you need to make that game right now. And then one day, if you decide to make FPS games in a year or two, then you can go and learn all the topics needed to make that game then. But you don't have to waste your time doing it now. Now, this isn't to say you shouldn't try and grow as a script, shouldn't try and learn, but many devs are out here learning a ton of unnecessary information that they don't even need. They're wasting their time, often stuck in tutorial hell, trying to make a bunch of stuff using tutorials alone, constantly looking things up, constantly using tutorials, constantly trying to learn new things, but not really going in any specific direction, not really trying to get specific results or get to a specific outcome. But the second that you figure out your goals as a developer, and then start learning the 20% that will get you 80% of those results or get you 80% of the players and the Robux you want. That's all you need. So ditch this need to know everything. Figure out what your goals are and then have laser-like focus on achieving those ends and then using and learning only the knowledge you need in order to get there. That way, your time and your energy are being put into the 
actions that drive you forward rather than on overconsumption of information, over practicing, and doing things that just are not pragmatic, right? We as devs, we've got to be pragmatic. Most devs are not pragmatic enough. I care about results over perfection. If you're somebody who just wants to take commissions, you only have to know what you need to know for your skill. You don't have to learn how to make full games, right? So only focus on learning scripting and becoming the best scripter possible rather than learning modeling and building and UI design when you don't need that information to take scripting commissions, right? Trying to learn everything about development is like going to a library without a goal, just going in there and just reading every single book you possibly can, reading books about history and reading books about economics and reading books about finance and reading books about philosophy and just reading and reading and reading all day, but never actually picking a specific topic to zero in on. The person who goes to the library and uses it the best is the person who has a specific goal in mind, right? Like, I want to figure out how to make statues. Great. Then they go into the library, they go to the specific aisle, and they find the specific book that is on sculpting statues. And they take that book or a few books on the same topic, they check out, and they leave, right? That person is extremely efficient, and they're going to get more results than the person trying to learn everything. The person trying to learn everything might come out knowing a lot about a lot of different topics, but they're spending all their time studying at the library and they are stuck in this mental cloud, this mental fog of, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to learn. I just want to learn everything on the planet. I'm sorry, man. You will never be a walking encyclopedia who knows everything about every topic. And honestly, you shouldn't, right? You want to learn as much as you can in life, but there's so much information out there that it's not worth trying to learn everything. You're better off setting some specific goals for yourself and then only learning only consuming what helps you to get to those goals. And then after you know what you need to know to reach your goals, like make your game, stop. Stop learning and focus on action over intaking information. There's so many devs out there who think this, and I know this because I've been in your shoes, right? I have assumed, oh, I need to know everything as a scripter. No, you don't. You just need to know what you need to know to make the genre of games you want to make. Or if you're a builder and you only want to make low poly builds, you don't have to learn how to make PBR textures in Substance Painter. You don't have to know how to make realistic builds. You just have to know how to make great low poly models in Blender. And you have to do that to the best degree you possibly can. And that developer is going to get ahead of the developer who's trying to learn all of the different building styles at once. Now that person who just makes low poly builds it doesn't mean that they are never going to learn how to make realistic builds, but that when their goals are just to be somebody who takes low poly commissions on X, right, they should just focus on that until they've mastered that and until they've become a pro and a very respected figure in doing low poly commissions, right? Once they have gotten very good at making those low poly simulator maps, once they've taken a lot of commissions there, once they've made dozens of maps and leveled up their skill and watched all the tutorials they could about becoming the best low poly builder possible and they're happy with their skill level, then they can start to graduate to add in other building styles to their repertoire of knowledge and skill. They can go learn how to make realistic builds. They can go and learn substance painter and learn how to make PBR textures. They can go and learn how to make stud builds. They can go and learn how to make medium poly builds, kind of that style from 2017, right? But learning that all at once when they didn't need it for their goals at the time would have been a waste. They wouldn't have been able to focus as much on their commissions. They wouldn't have been able to earn 200,000 Robux if instead of spending five hours a day on commissions, they were spending one hour a day on commissions and four hours a day watching tutorials on YouTube trying to figure out how to make realistic forests and make their game look like it was made in Unreal Engine 5 when they're just making low poly Roblox maps for people on X. They don't need to know how to do that. And it's okay that they don't know how to do that because that's not what their goal is. A lot of you guys have noticed this right now. Me as a YouTuber, I am following the 80-20 rule in something with my content. Can you guess what it is? I'm focusing on the 20% of actions that lead to 80% of my results. And I am not editing my videos 
very much at all anymore. So the 20% of actions that get me 80% of my results in content creation is recording videos. That That is the main highest leverage action that leads to the most output. There's nothing else that helps my channel grow more or helps my audience more or helps me more than recording content. So I decided why edit my videos when I can spend all my time recording videos and make more videos on my channel and release more content to my audience rather than spending hours editing those videos or a week waiting for an editor I hired to finish making that content. I would rather make my videos visually engaging through speaking to the camera with my face, right? That replaces editing and it's more efficient, right? And it makes it so I can get out more videos. So I've eliminated the complex editing part of the equation from my video process. That's part of the 80% of actions that don't really impact my results that much. I'm still getting plenty of views. I still have videos that do well. I still have outliers. I still have people gaining a lot from my content, even though I'm not editing my videos super intensively now. And I actually have people learning more because now I'm sitting down and I'm recording videos and I'm making them much more unfiltered. And I am giving a lot and a lot of information. I'm making them much longer. And I'm adding in these cool diagrams that a lot of you guys really enjoy. think it makes it much more educational when you have a visual with it. I agree. Right? I'm doing all these things and it's actually helping my audience more, especially those very dedicated few like you watching who actually pay enough attention to watch these videos all the way through. By still being here, you are showing that you have a much better attention span and a much higher dedication to mastering Roblox development than most of these other people who clicked off within the first several minutes. Those people, <laughs> their brains are fried. They don't have the discipline to watch a long video or they haven't trained their mind to be able to do it. You have, and that shows that you have a higher dedication to this field and you have a higher dedication to improving yourself and learning than most people out there. I respect that. So use this information and in what you do. Don't take it as don't try to learn more. Take it as learn what matters. Click this video on screen to learn how to make your first simple games on Roblox. This is also an extension of the 80-20 rule and a use of it because you're focusing on making, what, 20% of the game that gets 80% of the results. We're talking about making simple games rather than making the next jailbreak, right? Take out the open world map, 50 different vehicles, all these complex systems, all of this stuff that took years for them to make. Take out all of that stuff only make your game small, only make your game simple, only put in it what is needed for release, like for example, a smaller map, less mechanics, etc., and some monetization. That's the 20% that gets you 80% of your results. It's a very pragmatic way to make games. It's a very, and it is a use of the Pareto principle. Because especially when you start, what matters is actually getting games out there. That's more important than making the most complex project in the world. Done is better than perfect. See you next video.